Hi, this is Michael Orl of MobileBurn.com. Today we're going to take a look at the new Android market. It was just pushed out to our T-Mobile Samsung Vibrant. So we thought we'd uh, go through some of the new features and show you what it looks like. First up, you can notice the nice new look of everything. You know, the header up here at the top and how it has this um, overlaid with a little bit of a drop shadow graphic that goes over the images of the you know the icons of these other featured apps as you scroll by. You also notice that um, this carousel up top will automatically turn and it'll show you things like you know price and um, current star rating. Separate buttons here for games and then apps are basically everything but games and then my apps is uh, the things that you've downloaded or purchased and that kind of stuff. Button for searching and this button over here in the upper corner will always take you back to the home screen so I can show you we can just quickly jump to the games section and of course you see the new carousel of featured games and things like that and you just tap on that little icon right there and you get back to this main screen here things still show up in categories just like they did before you know all applications comics things like that and you can select one and then once you're inside you can see the top paid top free or a new applications there's always some little application featured up at the top too it seems to be a paid advertisement you often see that go back to home go to the game section and again looks just like it did before um, let's go into the arcade section top free you can see you know, the popular angry birds top paid Robo Defense, some new apps. Can search easily. Um, you can see I've already got a few things that I've searched for in the past. So I'll just tap one of those and you can see, you know, Google Translate, we just search for that. You can still use the button down here on your your phone, you know, the, the search button if it has one, but you don't have to any longer. So let's tap on Forensic here. You can see the new application screen it has changed quite a bit uh, the new version of the market allows for longer descriptions so you hit the uh, more and less button here to show the full length of the description so you can get more information out of it than you could in the old version and this more and less button also works for um, comments and reviews you can see it'll show you a few by default and you can tap out to get to a bunch more List similar applications, you know, similar types of games in this case. Or applications by the same developer. Uh, you can also email the developer from here and easily get to their web page. And of course, you still, still can always flag it as inappropriate if there's you know, something wrong with the application in your opinion. So far, I'm still only seeing apps with two screenshots. Possible we'll see more later. Let's go through and buy the application. You tap on the price here. This will show you first all the different features that it has to make use of. You know, it says it has full internet access, and this one it says it also can read the phone state. You'll see things like you know services it are charged for, you know, messaging, things like that. This screen looks the same as it did in the prior version. But you can just hit OK to accept those, and it'll go to the billing screen, which doesn't look uh, all that much different than it did before. You can still see we're pulling up, you know your credit cards and stuff like that. You will notice though that it says applications can be returned for a full refund within 15 minutes of purchase. So there's no longer that 24 hour period that we used to enjoy before. 15 minutes is a really small window of opportunity to test out an application. I mean, maybe not for something like Forensic, a fairly s simple game, but for more complex applications, uh, 15 minutes just really isn't sufficient in my opinion. Uh, links to the full refund policy and you know privacy policy and things like that. You can select your payment method if you're on a carrier that supports carrier billing. You can select that as well. Then you hit buy now and then you go through the process and buy the application. Now you can see it's being downloaded here in the uh, notification curtain. I'm going to go to my apps and hopefully we'll see that show up there. And there it is. It's being downloaded. Oh, while this is happening, you can still go through and do other things. You 
Okay, Forensic has now been installed. Tap on it just to show that it's working. There's the application. And there it is. You can go back here and claim a refund with the refund button since we're within 15 minutes. Pick a reason. And it's gone. Now this is the My Upload section. So these are all my applications here. Notice you still see things like the uh, allow automatic updating and if there were multiple applications available for update you'd see an update all button across the top but since I've only had the one I can't really show you that. What I can show you however is that now there's really lovely looking landscape support. Again you know nice rendered graphics and everything drop shadows on the curve and here you go you can see there's a more screenshots available in this application so we do have access to many more screenshots now tap to go back to the home screen and there we are back at the landscape version of the home screen so all in all, I'm quite pleased with the update to Android Market. Uh, the 15-minute refund policy seems to be a real step in the wrong direction, but everything else is much, much better. It's just more nice. It's nicer to look at. It's uh, easier to navigate, uh, better organized, you know, quick access to features. Uh, just all-around improvements. So again, that's the new Android Market. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.